How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs, where we love to help RVers get out there and enjoy the RVing experience. And today, we got a simple one for you. It's not a huge, complex solar inverter install on a 50 amp yacht, although that would be fun. But today, instead, we have just a simple ladder to be able to help RVers. I enjoy this ladder so much that I ended up taking the ladder off of our RV that originally came with it because I like this one so much. To be honest, these ladders, when I would look at them in the past, I thought they were so flimsy looking and so cheesy that I would never buy a ladder like that. With my construction background, you always had to have a strong, sturdy ladder, but this thing actually surprised me. So we'll get into all the details of why I like it, but the reason why we ended up getting a ladder rather than just using the ladder on our RV is because we had a very strange ladder on our fifth wheel. It was one that was a half ladder that was on the front cap of the, the fifth wheel, so it only came down part way. So if you wanted to get on the roof, you had to get another ladder to climb that ladder, or you needed to pull the truck underneath there to be able to climb up in the bed of the truck and then climb up on the ladder. It was always kind of awkward, and depending on the places we were at, you couldn't always pull the truck in front without blocking a road or an access way. So you had to have something awkward to be able to get up on the ladder to get up on the RV. And so with this one, it gives me a lot more access around the entire RV and I can get onto the roof or up near the top of the wall anywhere around the RV with this ladder. So it was very, very fitting for our situation. Not to mention, I really did not like the look of the ladder on the front of the RV. It always bothered me. It was just, it was just a weird look. So we, we pulled it off, we patched the fiberglass, and uh, it's all, all gone at this point. Now, I wouldn't recommend pulling the ladder off your RV because then you have those holes to patch, but, but we did and I actually really like the, the look of it just because ours was so awkward. So uh, overall, I like the look. I still have to put some finishing touches on there, uh, but I wanted something that was a ladder that I could hide a little bit better, not just something that was strapped to the back of the RV or an A-frame just strapped onto the, the RV. I wanted something that was easier to, to pack away. I also wanted something that was more flexible to be able to get to all sides of the RV, different variable heights, and so uh, this ladder really fit the bill in a, a lot of different ways. Now let's look at the operation of this ladder. It's, it's really easy to operate. So you just pull these sections apart and they just click into place. This one gives you a little indication showing you if it's green, if it's locked in, if it's red or red and green, it's not locked into place, don't step on it. I've never had it give out on me or like slide down a step or anything like that, but I've also double checked as I climb up the ladder. You have an indication on each side of the ladder. So uh, for that, it's just very easy to extend and works well in that regards. Now, in my opinion, I wouldn't even talk about a ladder unless it felt like it was secure and safe to be able to climb up that ladder. And while you extend this one and it does have a little bit of flex, it never feels unsafe or like it's it's going to break or give out or anything. It actually feels very steady and very stable when you're climbing up the ladder. When I was painting a house not long ago, I had a couple other smaller extension ladders and I actually brought this along because I preferred this over the ones, the older ones that I had on hand to be able to use. This one actually served me very well. But just to be fair, they do give you all the warnings on there of how your day could end tragically by using a ladder. Now this one doesn't collapse quite as much as the other ones that are out there. They have these rubber stoppers that are in between there, so hopefully you don't pinch your fingers near as often. So I, I could go either way. Sometimes it would be nice if it collapsed a little bit further, but sometimes it's nice not to have my fingers pinched near as often. So uh, it just depends on what you want and what your space is for storage. So collapsing this thing, we have a lever, one on each side. You have those levers and then that top piece comes down. And then you just do that for each step until it's collapsed all the way down. Then you have a built-in Velcro strap that goes around the top that keeps it from expanding when you're carrying it around, but it also has a plastic handhold at the bottom for being able to, to carry it around. You can just tuck it under your arm and be able to carry it easily wherever you're going. So for storage, we just found a place where we could tuck it up against a wall. It sits on the floor with the bottom legs. And then so it doesn't tip over, we have this Velcro strap with this carabiner that hooks to a ring on the wall. Keeps it from falling over. It doesn't have to worry about supporting the whole weight. Um, and it can just sit there on the floor and it rides really well. I've seen other people put them in storage areas uh, where they're able to also set it on the floor, push it up against the wall, and then just hook that, that strap that holds it all together around a hook that they put on the wall in the storage area. 
It rides really easy, it tucked out of the way when you need it, it's there. Uh, when you don't, you don't really have to think about it. It's just kind of tucked back against the wall and rides really nicely. It really just boils down to being something that's really handy for us. As we full time, the longer you're on the road, you, you need things that are a little bit more flexible. So between this and the step stool, we can get to just about everything on the RV. So this is more versatile for us because we can get to the, the top of the slide if we wanted to, where we don't have a ladder. We can get to the top of the RV, we can get anywhere on the walls of the RV that we need to, to do repairs, to clean something up. Uh, whatever we need to do, this ladder has come in very, very handy and very flexible for us. We even used it for other things like hanging our sign in the sign forest on the, the Alaskan highway. There's so many signs in there. Finding a, an open space to hang one, this ladder came in easy and then it opened up a whole different realm of possibilities of things that we could reach. As a quick side note, you do have a, a variety of heights that you can extend this to. So if you wanna only partially extend it, it just depends on how many steps you extend out. So you can use it part way up the, the wall of your RV if you needed a, a variety of heights. So uh, you could just tie some rags to the end of it to help protect it when you lean it up against the RV so you're not scratching the side. Uh, um, so it does give you a, a variety of heights in a ladder with your RV. But I think that's going to do it for today. It was just a simple ladder that I wanted to share with you guys and how it's benefited us and it might fit your situation. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.